Hello and welcome to a new session with edupediaworld.com your favorite portal for online education this session we're going to start with the next topic of central tendency and that is the mode we shall first understand what is mode then we shall see how to calculate mode from the given set of data mode is that value of the variate which occurs maximum number of times in other words we can say that it is that value of the variable for which the frequency is the maximum it is a value around which most of the data congregate and it may be regarded as the most typical of a series of values now whenever there is a set of data given when we count and the data or the number which occurs for maximum number of times is the mode let's say we have a raw data of say some number let's say 3 5 10 9 8 5 10 12 3 8 7 6 3 5 6 10 12 11 5 4 5 and so on now here for a raw data it's as simple as it is we just need to look at the data and pick the one which occurs for maximum number of times let's let's start counting here say 3 3 occurs let's let's just see how many times 3 has occurred 3 once twice 3 times so 3 has occurred for 3 times 5 the next number is once twice thrice four and five times ten one two and three nine again one mm, well only once eight twice you have here and you have here twelve one two times six again one and one two times what's left we have taken seven no seven uh, once four once and eleven once so seven four and eleven all once so here we say that we see that five stands out clearly and so 5 is the mode of this data now here what we did is we just inspected the data we looked at the data and we found so for raw data you just need to look at the thing and we can just find the mode by inspecting the data by just counting and looking at the one with the picking the one which occurs for maximum number of times now there are basically two ways to find the mode one is by looking at it, at it which is valid for raw data and also when uh, the data is regular when you have frequency distribution and the data is regular data is regular we use the simple inspection method but in case when you have the frequency distribution mm, either grouped or ungrouped and if the data is irregular then we will use the second method that is called the method of grouping okay so let's begin with understanding 
what is a regular data now in a frequency distribution table we have the let's say a frequency distribution table here we have the X and we have the frequency given suppose if the data let's let's take a sample here let's say we have one two three four five six seven eight as my variable and the frequencies are two three five ten seven six four and one now here what we see is that and let let me let me just plot this and have a graph it will be better and easier for understanding let me put the frequency here on the y-axis and the variable on the x-axis we have variable from 1 to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and we have the frequency the maximum is 10 so let's say it's 10 here so let's take say 2 4 6 8 and 10 now the frequency of 1 is 2 which is here for 2 it is 3 for 3 it is 5 for 4 it is 10 for 5 it is 7 for 6 it is again 6 for 7 it is 4 and lastly for 8 it is 1 so when we join these dots we see that our data gradually increases of course we don't have you know perfectly uh, regular shape mm, uh, what you call as the symmetrical data it's not so always but then roughly if we see that the data or the frequency of the data is gradually increasing and gradually decreasing like how we have here gradual increase and gradual decrease then the data is set to be regular so gradual increase and then decrease of the data is set to be regular and also we have just one peak okay sometimes it could have been let's say for example here after this after coming down to 17 had it been 16 so it would have been something like this if I draw maybe it will be like this first going up and then going up suddenly to 16 and coming down this is not regular so all other cases all other cases are irregular let me just draw and make you understand if suppose there are more than one ups and downs let's say there are more than one ups and downs or let's say for example if we if it is just increasing without any decrease or just decreasing without increase or say if there are uh, sudden increase and sudden decrease they it's gradually increasing in, in a way and then suddenly dipping down in the next one value to the lowest or something like that in all of these cases we say that the data is irregular so the only case where the data is set to be regular is when the frequencies of the data are increasing and decreasing gradually so when this is the case when it is regular we can directly pick our mode by the method of inspection that is just by looking at the data for example here let's take what we had taken previously say if it was C6 and not 16 say if it was 6 then in this case we clearly see that what stands out is this data 4 and so 4 is the mode of this data yeah because this has the maximum frequency okay and of course the data is regular it's gradually increasing and then gradually decreasing 
okay so in case of uh, regular data in the frequency table we pick the mode by method of inspection similarly if we had a grouped frequency here instead of the frequency if we had say group from 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and so on then of course instead of the data we will get the frequency class we would have got the frequency class and then using the interpolation formula which we will see in the subsequent session we can calculate the mode the point to be noted is that whenever the data is regular we pick the mode by the method of inspection and if the data is not regular then we will have to go to the method of grouping what is method of grouping we will see gradually in the upcoming classes alright so now let's take a few questions and find the mode so here we have a question where we have the values of x going from 5 10 15 20 up to 40 and then the frequency is given we need to find the mode of this data of course first we need to check whether the data given here is regular or irregular we see that the frequency of the set of data increases from 2 to 4 to 6 to 10 maximum to 15 which is of course gradual it's going in a certain step and then coming down gradually from 15 to 9 to 5 to 4 and so on of course this is a regular data and once it's regular it's as simple as just picking a number and my mode here would be the one corresponding to the maximum frequency which is 15 maximum frequency is here and so the mode is 25 alright so let's take another question here and see here you have the weights of the students given and then the number of students falling in each category is given here in the second column let's check if the data is regular or not we see that the frequency goes from 2 to 4 to 5 it's increasing gradually from 6 to 8 and then it drops down to 5 coming down further to 7 but once again it increases to 7 goes up to 11 then comes down to 5 and 3 if we have to draw the graph of this it will come something like this it will in first gradually increase to a point then come down a little and then further go up to a maximum of 11 then then come down so when we see that there are two peaks this falls in the category of irregular data and so we cannot calculate the frequency uh, the mode just by looking at it just by me the method of inspection so now let's see how to work out the group method of grouping for method of grouping we need to draw six additional columns next to the column uh, which we have that is a frequency column okay now in each of these columns in the first column let's go gradually one by one in the first column what we will do is uh, of course I'll give you the detail written uh, later on let me just work out the problem first in the first column we will take the sum of the frequencies two at a time we will take the sum of the frequencies two at a time from the top and add them uh, and keep and write them here so in the first case it will be the sum of let me merge these two so I'll have the sum of these two it will be 2 plus 4 sum of these two frequencies taken together from here okay so likewise I'll go on in the next again I'll take two so I'll be taking two at a time from the top and writing their sum so here it will be the sum of this that is 5 plus 6 same way I'll take the next two it will be 8 plus 5 13 next will be 4 plus 7 11 
then it will be 11 plus 5 16 and lastly I'm left with only one but since I'm supposed to take two at a time I won't be taking anything for this I'll leave it blank okay so the first column what we do we take the sum of the frequencies two at a time from the top and write them okay fine in the second column again we will take sum of the frequencies two at a time but this time not from the top we will leave one from the top and we will take the sum from the second one so it will be I'll have to take these two here and here it will be the sum of the second value which is 4 plus the third value which is 5 okay similarly the next one it will be the sum of the next two which is 6 and 8 6 plus 8 is 14 what will be next exactly it will be 5 plus 4 equals 9 the next one would be 7 plus 11 which is 18 and the last one will be 5 plus 3 which is 8 okay so here I have left this blank in the third column now from third column onwards I'll take the sum of three frequencies at a time I'll take three values starting from the top take the sum of the three and write them here so I'm going to take three one two and three okay so let me take these three rows here in this column merge them and write the sum here so it will be 2 plus 4 plus 5 that's 11 next again I'll take the sum of the next three which is 6 plus 8 14 plus 5 19 yeah next I will take 4 plus 7 11 plus 11 22 okay and lastly I'm left with two values here but since I'm supposed to take three at a time I'll have to leave these two rows blank okay in the fourth column what I do again I'll take three frequencies at a time add them but this time it will not be from the first I'll take from the second that is I'll take the sum of 4 plus 5 9 plus 6 15 so that will be added here in this cell here it will be 4 plus 5 plus 6 which is 15 okay and again next I'll take the next 3 which is 8 plus 5 plus 4 so next 3 let me do that here 8 plus 5 plus 4 is 17 and the next one will be 7 plus 11 plus 5 which is 23 okay In the fifth column we will take again we will take three frequencies at a time leaving the first two so I'll start from here take three at a time and add add them and write them here so it will be one two three taken together and the sum would be five plus six plus eight okay the same way the next three would be added and then the next three would be added okay so the pattern is simple you're starting you're taking the frequencies in the first two columns two at a time in the next three three at a time but in the first two in the first one you start from the top second you leave the first and start from the second here you start from the top next you start leaving the first one next you start leaving the first two starting from the third one okay next what you do is you mark the maximum in each of these columns starting from the frequency column so in the frequency column we see that the maximum happens to be 11 so let me mark that here let me give it a color okay 
in the first column the maximum is 16 so let me mark that the second column the maximum is uh, 18 which is here the next column it's 22 which is here the maximum of the fourth column is 23 again which is here and the maximum of the last column is well there are two maximums 19 and 19 so both will be marked and finally in the sixth column we will count for each variable for each variable uh, let uh, yeah let me do this next to the variable here it will be easy for you to comprehend okay so here in the first we will have to count and see how many times the maximum frequency has occurred for each of these variables so for the first variable 50 maximum frequency if we look into the first we see that there's no maximum frequency in this so the maximum frequency has occurred zero times the next one we see um, that again it has not occurred even once so again it is zero in the third one the maximum frequency has occurred once yeah when we look at this 19 this 19 is it's valid for the third one because we see straight from here first second and third third one that is 52 so this is maximum in its column therefore this will be counted for 52 so we count this as one maximum has occurred once similarly the next one again we see the maximum has occurred once and again that's this 19 so one next again the maximum has occurred once once here the next for 55 we see that the maximum has uh, not occurred even once so again it is zero for next one the maximum has occurred once here and only once so once for 57 the maximum has occurred once here once with 22 once here with 23 three times so the frequency total frequency uh, maximum frequencies here is three the next one for 58 it is once twice thrice four five and six so six times the maximum has occurred for this data six times here it's only once twice and thrice it's only three times and lastly for 60 again it's only once so now the maximum now again we will have to see in the sixth column that what is the maximum of this and in the sixth column the maximum is here which is 6 so our mode is 58 okay so mode is is that clear so these are the steps for grouped method of grouping to make the group uh, the table of grouping we need to have six additional columns starting uh, and let me just give you the steps one by one you can make a note of it yeah you need to prepare a table consisting of six additional columns in the first column after the frequency sum of course after the frequency uh, column the frequencies grouped in two sum the frequencies grouped in twos starting from the top that's what we did here that is this column we took the sum of the frequencies starting from the top adding taking two at a time okay sum of the frequency the first column sum the frequencies grouped in two starting from the top fine in the second column sum the frequencies grouped in twos again 
starting from the second one right so here we started from the second one that is from this 4 4 in the third column sum the frequencies grouped in threes starting from the top in the fourth column sum the frequencies grouped in threes again starting from the second one okay so the third column starting from the top we took three sum of three at a time in the fourth column we took sum of the three but not we left the first one we started from the second one and lastly in the fifth column sum the frequencies grouped in threes starting from the third then identify the highest frequency total in each of the six columns starting from the individual frequency column okay that we did here we took first started with the individual frequency column which was here we took the maximum of that then we identified the maximum of each column one by one which are these values if there are more than one maximum mark both of them and that way we saw that this uh, we just marked these here thereafter now count and write the total number of maximum frequency occurrence for each variable so for each variable we counted the maximum number of occurrence I mean the maximum occurrence in their column their respective row and we wrote them here in the sixth column actually your sixth column should have been here but I just shifted it here so that it's next to the variable and it's easy for you to understand and finally the variable having the highest total in the mode is the mode and in case of class interval it will become the model class so the case of group frequency we will take up in the subsequent sessions that's all we have in this session keep watching edupediaworld.com